Okay, today I'm talk about check engine light scanners. This company Ansel they contacted me and asked me would I do a review on one of their scanners, the Ansel AD410, and I said sure because these things they can save you a lot of money. Here's a scenario: your check engine light comes on and you have a few options. One, you can go to a dealer or a shop and pay anywhere from I don't know, fifty to one hundred and fifty dollars for them to scan your car and just tell you what you, and tell you what the code is, or you can go to a friend or a buddy. Hopefully, they have one, or you can just buy yourself one. Now, this isn't a high-end auto shop scanner, but for the average home user like myself, this is more than capable. I've reviewed a few other scanners and. Here's another one that I'm going to just add to that list. Off the back, one of the reasons that you should purchase it is Ansel, they're giving me a 10% code to offer to you in case you want to buy one. I'll leave the link in the description below. Straight out of the little package, the little plastic container, this is what you get. You get a little instruction book. You get about, I don't know, about two feet of cable, and then you get this little USB, goes on the bottom right here. I guess this is to connect it to the computer so you can see your data from there. And then you have four buttons, you know, up, down, enter, exit, and then your IM. All right, so let's uh, plug this up to the car and uh, start checking it out. When you first turn it on, this is what the screen looks like. You have your OBD, that's just where you check and read all your codes. You have the IM, that is your IM readiness. It's a snapshot of your emission systems, you know, monitor things like misfire. Then you have your setup, and this is how, as you see, as you hit the down arrow, as I hit the down arrow, you can see it cycling through. You know it's funny because I want to hit the touch. I want to touch the screen because we're so used to that. But <laughs> you hit the down arrow, so you go to your setup, and this is where you want to set up the language, unit of measure, turn the beep on and off, record stuff, feedback. Then just hit the exit. Go back to the previous menu. Let's say you're at lookup. So right here, you hold the enter button, and you get and you press down, and you see it switch over. So let's say P0, um, I don't know, three, um, 300, just P0300, enter, random misfire cylinder. Okay, we all know that. So let's say P, P, P1, P112. That is an intake air temperature sensor. All right, so that's cool. You get to, if you have a check engine code that pops up, you can look it up. Then I go to the next screen, which is review. Hit review. This is to review any information that you have stored on the scanner. And then about is just the version, the hardware, the serial number of the actual scanner. That's what the cable is for that you connect to your computer through the USB. You can update your scanner. Alright, so this is why we're here. Let me start the car and see if I have any codes. Okay, right now the car is running and I'm going to hit the IM and it has all the little check marks are the things that it checked and the little circles are the things that for whatever reason it just doesn't check and out of that let's go into check see if I have any codes enter enter read codes erase codes the IM readiness data stream freeze frame O2 sensor test onboard monitoring EVAP system test vehicle information onboard monitoring so as you see, there's a lot of stuff that you can check. Okay, let's check 
see if I have a misfire in cylinder one. And right here, it gives you the status of cylinder one. And as you can see right there, it says pass. So you can check each individual cylinder. All right, let me check to see if I have any codes. Enter, enter, enter. It says read codes, enter, enter. Okay, I have no codes. Let's go look at something else. Let's look at this uh, freeze frame. So right now, it's just going to give me a picture of the entire status of the car. That's pretty cool. All right, let's look at this data stream. So right here on the data stream, you can view everything. So right now, it's going to view every single thing that it can check. And this is all live because the car is on right now. So as you see, it's just showing every single thing. Okay, let's go here or you can select what you want. So, you know, let's just say that you want the fuel. So then I hit enter on that. And I'm just going to scroll down and then select the ones I want. And then you just hit the exit button and now it's running the test I mean now it's showing you the information on those three then you hit exit to go back I really like this one because you get the live view and it's in a chart so I hit enter on this particular one you get to select up to three so let's say um, scroll down let's say engine coolant temperature um, engine RPM and uh, Let's say short term, and as soon as you select the third one, it automatically gives you the graph. So this is live data. That's pretty cool right there. All right, hit exit. Let's see free frame. Let's look at the EVAP system test. Okay, EVAP system leak. Test not supported. Since I don't have any codes, any check engine codes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull off this vacuum line right here and I'm going to disconnect my mass airflow sensor, my MAP. And let's check and see what the scanner picks up. Okay, I'm back into the system. Hit read codes, enter. Let's go to pending and P0102. Yeah mass or volume airflow sensor so it picked up exactly what was wrong here's my final verdict on this scanner first of all I like it it's very easy to use you know up down enter exit IM even though it's very easy to use it packs a lot of features that's real cool that you can get the live data stream you can get a freeze frame obviously you can erase codes and check codes but you can even look them up. I know you can do that online, but it's just cool to have this um, have it to where you can just look it up on the scanner. Now, let's say that, I don't know, it's time to get your car smogged and your check engine light is on. You're going to pay $100 to go to the dealership and they might tell you something as simple as, I don't know, your gas cap was, was open or you need a new gas cap or you have a vacuum leak and that could be just as simple as you know replacing a worn rubber seal or you need to clean your mass airflow sensor this thing is a whole lot cheaper than going to the dealer and having them tell you something that it's that simple to fix now on the other hand it could be something real difficult like an oxygen sensor or you know something wrong deeper into the engine but this is at least to give you a very good idea of where to start looking so I like the thing I'm gonna keep using it I'm glad that Ansel sent it to me uh, I thank you and as usual I appreciate you guys for watching if you have any questions feel free to hit me up you guys have a good day